Hello guys, welcome to another new video. In today's video, I want to be talking about the smartest striker in the world right now, which is Vito Osimen. Then we are also going to be looking at the four goals he scored against uh, Santome e Presep. Then we are also going to be talking about uh, Joseph Perizzo and how he has changed Nigeria for the time being. He has been the head coach of the Nigeria national team. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Now let's talk about the toughest young striker in the world right now, which is Vito Osime. Many would not know much about Vito Osime, but if we have seen the likes of Didier Drogba and Samuel Eto play during their time, you will know that Vito Osime is just like them. If Vito Osime can be brought into a bigger club or can be signed into a bigger club like Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Manchester City, PSG, Liverpool, or better still Chelsea, we are able to see the beast called Vito Osimhen. For the season, he spent a lead, not knowing that uh, no Napoli was monitoring this lad. He was able to deliver there. That is why he attracted the eyes of Napoli, and that is why they paid 70 to 80 million signing Vito Osimhen. Having played two seasons with uh, Napoli already, especially this last season, where he was able to score 14 goals and he was on a three months injury. And when, even when he came back, he was still banging. And this is the kind of striker that a club needs in their team. A, a player that can able to deliver when it is necessary. He's very good with both feet, he's very good in the air, he's physical, no, he's spacey. When his team is suffering, he can able to come back and defend. That is one of the striker, or that is a striker I call all round, you no, know, and prophetic striker. And looking at the four goals he scored against the 10-0 the win against uh, uh, San Tome e Presi, one can able to say that this boy is a good striker. I know most of you will say that uh, San Tome e Presi is not a recognized country in the African football. Uh, where it, uh, you are the one saying it because they didn't play against women, they didn't play against a cripple, they didn't play against an, an open net. But the boy was able to bank four goals in the 10-0 win against San Tome in Presse. If you are to be Cristiano Ronaldo of Lino Messi that scored a non-recognized European country in during their qualify qualification to World Cup, I know you will be applauding him. So therefore, let us give honor to whom honor is due. Vitor Osime is the future. Now let's talk about Joseph Pizero, the head coach of the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the two matches he has played since he was appointed the head coach of the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Now, from the two matches we have played against Sere Long, against Santome e Presip, I was able to identify two things, two systems be employed by Joseph Bizero. Now, I discovered that Nigeria now play with a lot of stability and hunger. From the game of Sere Long, where Nigeria won there by two goals to one, courtesy of Alessi Wobi and Vitor Osime. You know, Nigeria started the game shaky. That was exactly what led to the first goal. And as the game progresses, they were able to correct that mistake before the game was stable for Nigeria. And that was exactly what I saw in the first match they played. Then the second match they played, where they defeated San Tome a precip by 10 goals to nothing, shows what hunger. How can you explain the fact that you are winning a team already 5-0, but you still want to score more and more? For the fact that he didn't even substitute the Vitor Osime out of the game shows that this coach is here to deliver to Nigeria and our national team. And it's a coach that I also observed that he easily identifies where Nigeria is weak in any match they are playing. So guys, I will see you in another video. Bye bye for now.